Okay, so we will start, right? Anna, we have waited enough. People are joining, so they'll keep on joining. Okay, so how many of you remember what we studied in last class? Raise your hand. Shall we post revise what we studied in last class? Good evening, Anna. Tell me, right? So let us, yeah, let us start with revision. Okay, right? Let us start with revision. Now, I hope all of you remember the concepts that we studied in last class. Right, we studied about what is, tell me, what is resistance, right? Whole class, we discussed what is resistance, what is the formula of resistance, right? How, yes, how the material, how the material, okay, right? Anna, so we talked about resistance. I hope everyone, everyone understood the basic idea about resistance. Ekine, tell me. Right? Chike, anyone have any doubt? Anyone have any doubt in resistance? Right? Tell me, guys. Anna, we talked about what? The basic definition of electric current, which is rate of flow of charge per unit cross section area. Then we talked about what? The condition, right? The condition required for the charge to flow, right? So we have two conditions. The first condition is there should be potential difference. Okay. There should be a potential difference. And second is there should be a closed circuit, right? And uh, there should be a closed circuit. Okay. Then after that, we discussed about what is electrical resistance. We discussed what are the factors that affect the motion of electron, right? And uh, so including those factors, right? Okay. I can say we can define, we can define resistance. Resistance is basically what? Tell me, what is resistance? Resistance is nothing but the obstruct right or a position you know, in the flow of okay yes or no? see that resistance depend on the geometrical configuration and material it does not depend on the tell me charge flown ayana right voice is cracking guys my voice is cracking is it fine Tell me, is it fine or it is cracking? It is clear. Okay, okay, okay. Take it. Very good. Very good. It is clear. So, up the company, okay, no issues. Right? It is clear now. No, it is clear now. Right? Okay. Take it. Shalom. Okay. So the next concept that we are going to study today, and we are we will be playing Kahoot today, right? We haven't played a single Kahoot. Am I going to count me up the Kilana? Chalo. Okay. So the concept that we are going to study today is something called Ohm's law, right? Yeah, na Ohm's law. I guess it has been covered. Okay. Okay. No one. So let us see what is Ohm's law, right? What is Ohm's law? Ohms law. Now let us try to understand this. Let us try to understand this, right? Now think about it. Think about it. Sunshaykbar, before talking about anything, right? Any theory, let's try to give an example, right? Let's try to think by an example. I can say, sir, if I'm having, if I'm having, right? Okay, some stone, right? Think about it. This is your ground floor. This is your first floor, right? And this is suppose your second floor. Okay, in one case, if I'm throwing a stone from, from first floor to ground floor, okay, right, easy. And in second case, I'm throwing, right, same stone, same stone from the second floor to ground floor. Tell me. Now, about the kiss case, me, kiss case, me, yaha pe, right, velocity is other okay. Tell me. This is this is the concept that everyone studied in class nine. But now, kiss case, me, yeah. Velocity is other okay. First floor or second floor? Tell me. First floor or second floor? First to ground floor, second to ground floor. Everyone. Very basic. This is nothing to do with electricity. Last class, last year, perhaps concept. Second floor makes sense. Na? Yes, so obviously, second floor se agar girega, which is itna uncha se girega, utna je chod zada lagegi. Means uska utna velocity zada hoga. Yes or no? Right? Agree? Right, agree? Chike? I guess this is clear. And a concept clear here. Okay. 
Now, let us take second example, right? Now you must be thinking, sir, is kya relation is kya relation is there? Let us take let us take examples, right? First of all, let us try to understand this. Okay. Now, how many of you have observed the flow of the pressure of water when you live in an apartment? Tell me. Suppose you are living in an apartment, right? Think about it. You are living in an apartment, right? And this is your first floor. This is your second floor. This is your third floor, right? Now, actually, what now? There's tap over here. There's a tap over here. There's a tap over here. And there's a tap over here, right? Or there's a tap here. And one tap here. Okay. And water tank is kept over here. Now tell me. Now tell me. In which case? In which case the pressure of water, the pressure of water coming out of the tap will be maximum? Tell me. Tell me. Think about it. This is a pipe. This is a pipe. Right. So. Yes, very good. So it is very easy, sir. Kya push ho, sir? It is very easy that the water coming right out from the yes top at the ground floor right will have maximum pressure. Yes or no? Easy. Yes or no? Because because yes, right pressure increases when you we go from right depth. Okay. So this is much more. Sir, of course, of course, much more. Hi, na. So these are the examples that we have already studied, right? These are the examples that we have already studied. Yes or no? Okay. So yes. So so why these things? Why these examples are related with this? Now think about it. Think about it. When you talk about Ohm's law, what does Ohm's law say? Is right? What does Ohm's law say? Is what we talked about? Tell me what we talked about in this chapter, sir. We talked about current, right? We talked about flow of current. Now. My point is obviously we can observe the stone falling from height or water flow falling from height, है ना? But current तो दिखता नहीं है ना? Current में दिखता है. But can I use the same idea? Can I use the same idea? Because if I'm saying, sir, if I'm having this point as A, this point as B, right? है ना? And suppose this point is C. If something is falling, and suppose We talk about potential, है ना? We talk about potential, right? So this is the ground floor. So I consider potential as zero. The potential at this point is V one, and suppose the potential at this point is V two, right? This is your gravitational potential. ठीक है? Gravitation के हिसाब से हम बात कर रहे हैं. Now think about it. Do tell me in which case, right? Tell me in which case potential will be more in V two or V one? Potential at which point will be more at V one or V two? B2 makes sense ना ये तो सर common sense तो ये तो हम लोगों ने tenth में पढ़ा है anyone have any doubt that sir B2 का potential ज़्यादा होता है है ना because as you go up potential energy increases right है ना right we have studied in ninth yes so as we go up potential energy increases so does potential right so I can say sir B2 right B2 will be having more potential now suppose something is falling from B1 to zero If something is falling from v1 to zero. What is the change in potential? Tell me. What is the change in potential? Tell me. Suppose water is falling. Water is falling from v1 to zero. Right. Change in potential is v1 minus zero. Yes or no? Tell me. Hi, Anna. So change in potential is v1 minus zero. Right. Okay. And suppose the pressure of water. Right. Pressure of water. I I rename the pressure of water as something called. Right. Water current, right? Or pressure of water? Okay. Pressure of water. Okay. Right. Or I say it as water current. Water current. Okay. Right. Now suppose this is your P one. Okay. This is P one. जब वो C point से B point पे आ रहा है. Suppose it is your P one. ठीक है. Right. Now let us take a second case in which it is falling from. V two to zero. Now tell me, in this case, what is the difference in potential? जब वो V two से zero आ रहा है, तो what is the difference in potential? Tell me. V two minus zero. Very good, Tanish. V two minus zero. And suppose this is this water current, right? This water current is P two. This water current is P two. Suppose, right? है ना? Now what can you say about P one and P two? Tell me. P one और P two में कौन ज़्यादा होगा? Tell me. P one और P two में कौन ज़्यादा होगा? 
P1 will be more, P2 will be more. Logically, right? Tell me. Logically, batao. Which of the two will be more, P1 or P2? Tell me. Soch ye. Ye chiz soch pehle. Right? V1 se zero tak gir raha hai, then it is your P1. V2 se zero tak gir raha hai, then it is P2. Hai na? So obviously, agar height se zyada gir raha hai, potential difference zyada hai, right? तो मुझे जो प्रेशर मिलेगा ना ग्राउंड पे वो क्या होगा ज्यादा होगा सो कैन आई से सर राइट सिंस वी वन इज ग्रेटर देन वी टू सॉरी वी वन इज वी टू इज ग्रेटर देन वी वन राइट है ना टेल मी सो वी टू माइनस जीरो इज ग्रेटर देन वी वन माइनस जीरो यस और नो यस और नो हेंस राइट हेंस पी टू इज ग्रेटर देन पी वन आई कैन से दिस आई कैन से दिस एग्री राइट This has nothing to do with this has this has nothing to do with your own slope for now. ठीक है ये समझ में आ रहा है सबको समझ में आया कि नहीं चीज चल रही सबको समझ में आया कि नहीं है everyone right so I guess you are getting the idea है ना कि भाई वो क्या रहा है वो क्या रहा है because we cannot visualize current ना but what we can do we can visualize either water or stone ठीक है so can I say can I say okay sir it means it means there's a relationship between potential difference and current हाँ या ना There is a relationship between potential difference and current. Agree, right? Tell me. Agree. There should be a relationship between potential difference and current. Now, what do you think? What that relationship might be? Now, tell me if there is a potential difference, right? This potential difference is more. The potential difference is more. What will happen to current? Will it be more or will it be less? Tell me. If change in potential is more, then the current will be more or less. वेरी गुड स्टडी ना वेरी गुड पहला मोर है ना सो इट विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज राइट एग्री एंड इफ चेंज इन पोटेंशियल इज लेस इफ चेंज इन पोटेंशियल इज लेस वट विल हैपन टू करेंट वट विल हैपन टू करेंट इट विल ऑल्सो बी येस इट विल ऑल्सो डिक्रीज राइट नाउ वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप इज फॉलोड ओवर टेल मी आई होप एवरी वन स्टडीड राइट है ना दिस थिंग इन क्लास सेवेंथ राइट Directly proportional. Yes, very good. Pehla hai na. So can I say, sir, V is directly proportional to I, right? Hai na. By observation, yes or no, right? By observation. Ratna nahi observation. Observation. Humne observe kia, hai na? Humne observe kia. Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys, please mute yourself. Okay. So, anyone have any doubt? Mantesh, it is not your name. Mantesh, it is your name or it is someone else's name. So, it's me, Mansa. Mansa. Okay. Okay, Mansa. Right. ठीक है. तो ये सब कुछ समझ में आ गया. This is super easy. Super easy. Visualize what sir. हो क्या रहा है? है ना? Tell me. Super easy. Right. Okay. Now. Now we have a proportionality over here. So we know, sir, whenever we remove proportionality constant, right? So whenever we remove this proportionality, we put a constant, right? So we will put a constant over here. And what that constant might be? Tell me. What that constant might be? Anyone? Resistance. Resistance. Very good, right? Very good. And now, so this resistance is a constant. It is a proportionality constant, right? So this is your Ohm's law. This is your Ohm's law. Right. So what Ohm's law says, sir? Ohm's law says that Ohm's law says that if we have a two point A and B, right? Okay, right. Or if the current is flowing in a circuit, the current will always be directly proportional to the. Tell me, directly proportional to voltage difference. Hi Anna. Tell me, hi Anna. Agree? Yes. So can I say, sir, if I'm having Yes, if I'm having right this relationship, the graph would be something like this. Agree, the graph would be something like this. Yes or no? Agree. So this is the graph. This graph represents what? Tell me, right? Yes, at fixed temperature and condition, है ना? So I can say, I can say, I'll just this is expression. I'll just write it, है ना? Let's write it. So according to Ohm's law, है ना? According to Ohm's law, law, 
कि पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ठीक है पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल proportional to what proportional to current hai na electric current flowing between them theek hai right right condition keeping the temperature constant एनी वन एवर इट आउट दिस मैंने लिख भी दिया सबको समझ में आया हा या ना चल मैं हा या ना थिंक अबाउट इट थिंक अबाउट इट राइट सो इफ आई सी दिस ओके इफ आई से सर माई ओम सो कंडीशन इज राइट टेम्परेचर शुड बी कॉन्स्टेंट एंड आई एम राइटिंग वी इज इक्वल टू आई आर सो कैन आई से सर इफ आई री राइट वी अरेज दिस आई कैन से आर इज इक्वल टू वी बाई आई मीनिंग ऑफ दिस टेल मी V by I, R is equal to V by I. Can I say, sir, the slope, right? The slope, right, is basically what? Tell me, the slope is basically what? So the slope is nothing but resistance. Yes or no? Tell me. You did not get it. See again, right? Think about it. Think about it. V is equal to I R. समझ में आया सबको? आया ना? V is equal to I R. समझ में आया? Right? So, बचपन में हम लोगों ने एक छोटा सा property पढ़ा है, right? छोटा सा math पढ़ा है. There is something called transpose and cross multiplication. याद है सबको? Right? So यहाँ पे अगर I को मैं इधर cross multiply कर रहा हूँ, तो क्या मैं ये लिख सकता हूँ? that is what i'm doing na ayana that is what i'm doing got it krishna got it okay now vastav vastav again right jab main likh raha hu yahan pe maine nahi bola ki kon independent hai kon dependent did i tell you that which is independent which is dependent no na right and i have already told you ki dependent independent depend karta hai ki main kya le raha hu right so here it is vi graph you can make it as iv graph also theek hai theek hai okay clear it is right yes i told only proportional theek hai now ek cheez batao so can i say sir the slope of this curve right the slope because this is what v and this is i hai na this is v and this is i so this is a slope right so i can say the slope of this curve slope of this vi curve represents what tell me everyone tell me resistance exactly represents resistance any have resistance not resistivity then is resistance theek hai so a concept check lete hain let us let us take one concept check okay i guess ye sabko samajh mein aa gaya hoga anyone have any doubt till this point ohms law <laughs> right anyone okay so let us take one concept check okay now suppose this is your 
लेटेस्ट सी लेटेस्ट सी राइट देखते हैं कि कौन जवाब दे पाता है इसका ठीक है सो दिस इज योर वी एंड दिस इज योर आई राइट एंड दिस इज योर कंडक्टर वन सपोज दिस कंडक्टर वन ठीक है एंड दिस इज योर कंडक्टर टू राइट है ना केस वन केस टू सपोज दिस इज ए एंड दिस इज बी Now tell me in which case is the resistance is R one, is the resistance is R two. Okay, the resistance of the red one is R one and the resistance of blue one is R two. Now tell me, now tell me, which case me, which case me, right? In which case, right? Resistance would be more. So option A, option A, R one is greater than R two. Option B, R one is less than R two. Option C, R one is equal to R two. ऑप्शन डी भगवान जाने टेल मी टेल मी विच ऑप्शन थिंक अबाउट इट थिंक अबाउट इट एवरी वन थिंक अबाउट इट इज कॉन्सेप्ट चेक इट इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट चेक टेल मी थिंक अबाउट इट Rakesh, I'll send you the PDF only. Now I'll send you the notes only. Okay, Rakesh. I have been sending the notes. I'll send the notes. Don't worry. Right? Notes, recording, everything will be updated. Tell me, everyone, think about it. That is a concept check, right? That is not that easy, right? Na, batao kya hoga? Question is, this this is the question, right? This is the question. Okay, R one is greater than R two, R one is less than R two, R one is equal to R two, and fourth option is God knows. Bhagwan jaane. ठीक है. Rakesh, I'll send all the notes. Previous year notes also I'll send. Rahed. it will not be equal first of all no that is not correct <laughs> okay so c is not correct c is not correct theek okay, hai i'll tell you c is not correct because how can they be equal how can they be equal right slopes are different na theek okay, hai now c again right c the difference here is the concept is so it is i versus v graph i and a tell me this is i versus v agree right agree hey right? d is always correct is always correct bhagwan to jante sab kuch hai ki nahi right i know everything okay right theek hai so, chalo let us let us check that see what is the difference between this graph and this graph tell me what is the difference between this graph and this graph batao dekho ek bar this graph what is the difference between this graph right and this graph tell me सोचो और बताओ एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली राइट दिस इज योर वी आई ग्राफ है ना दिस इज योर वी आई ग्राफ एंड दिस इज योर आई वी ग्राफ ये नो हाई एन आ राइट राइट एंड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट वेन यू टॉक अबाउट दिस वेन यू टॉक अबाउट स्लोप सो वेन एव यू टॉक अबाउट स्लोप द एंगल इज टेकन इलॉन्ग विथ विच एक्सिस एक्स एक्स सॉरी आई और वी टेल मी एंगल दैट वी शुड टेक Is is with respect to what current or voltage? Tell me current or voltage. सब कुछ समझो study ना right? Tell me study ना right? अभी रम्या आदित्य समझ में आ रहा है current exactly exactly सोचो एक बात अवनि अनवित right everyone is a प्रहलाद हेली हेली समझ में आ रहा है जयति krishna mansa guys i hope all of you are serious this year not like last year hai na now tell me now tell me so we are taking angle with respect to i ab batao ab batao ab i ke respect mein angle lena hai hai na so tell me which angle is more suppose this is your alpha alpha bas aise hi naam de diya maine theek hai and this angle is beta tell me this angle is beta this angle is beta batao kaun bada hai alpha bada hai ki beta bada hai tell me अल्फा बड़ा है कि बीटा बड़ा है 
Think about it. Right? Sir, beta is greater than alpha, na Rakesh? Rakesh, alpha or beta angle kaun bada hai? Angle kaun bada hai? Tell me. Alpha kaan se bada ho gaya? Think about it. Alpha, alpha, red wala line ka angle hai. Beta, blue wala line ka angle hai. Kahan se? I ke respect mein. I ke respect mein. Hai na? Right? Clear hai? So can I say, can I say, sir, in this case, beta is greater than alpha? Hai na? Beta is greater than alpha? Yes or no? Raise your hand. Hai na? Right? Agree. Hai na? Sabko samaj mein aare? Everyone should understand this. Right? Everyone should get it. Everyone. If anyone having internet issues, please, please watch the videos and ask. Okay? Right? Very good, Zilan. Very good. Tanish, Sharina, Mansa, Akshata, Avni, Anvit. Okay? Fiza. Okay. Very good. Raid, anyone have any doubt? Nandini, Yahya. Yahya, do you understand? Manogna, Sanjit, much more. Is Satvik there? Satvik is not. Satvik is absent. Satvik is there, right? Yes, sir. Shristi, is much more. I need everyone to make your notes. I am telling you. Okay. If you don't make notes, na, right? You know me, right? You know me, right? I am a very good teacher, right? I am very like student friendly. I don't scold. And you don't want me to scold you, right? I am. Tell me, do you want me to spoil you? Right? Do what I ask you to do, na? Hai na? Tum meri baat mano. Right? Hai na? Clear hai? Chalo. So can I say, sir, since beta is greater than alpha, slope kiska aada hooga? R2 wa ki R1 ka? Tell me, slope kiska aada hooga? Slope is more for which one, right? R2 or R1, tell me. Slope is more for R2 or R1. R2. So can I say, so slope of R2, Slope of R2 is greater than slope for R1. So can I say, sir, R2 is greater than R1? Haiya na. Ab samaj me aaya? Ab samaj me aaya sabko? Ha chalo. Clear hai? Clear hai? Because, because we should always take angle with respect to I. Hai na? Ye nahi dekhen. Aray, sir, ye R1 ka slope, R2 ka slope kam hai R1 se. But, See, see which which axis is this, right? It is your voltage. It's not your current, hai na? Right? Clear hai? Anyone have any doubt in this? Anyone have any doubt in this? Raise your hand. Anyone have any doubt in this? So the correct answer is B. Correct answer is B. Right? Chika? B. Anyone have any doubt? Tell me. Raid? Koi doubt hai? Manogna? Koi doubt hai? Tanish? Akshata? Aditya? Abhiramya? Manoj, Manoj, समझ में आ रहा है Yes, slope का मतलब ही होता है ना? Slope का मतलब ही होता है angle, हाँ या ना? Right? अगर तुम लोग trigonometry पढ़ोगे ना, so basically this is known. Known. जब trigonometry पढ़ोगे तो slope is equal to tan theta. Condition वालों को समझ में आता होगा, है ना? Yes or no? Right? So obviously अगर angle ज़्यादा है तो slope ज़्यादा होगा, ठीक है? Right? Where theta should lie between Tell me, zero is equal to ninety degree. Okay, right? Okay, done. Easy. Anyone have any doubt in this point? Anyone have any doubt in this point? No, clear. Okay, ye. Fiza, you are getting. Bhavani, Kelly, Janvi, Jayati, Mansa, Ahad. Okay, take it. Very good, right? So I assume no one is having any doubt. Everything is clear. Now, okay. So we know, we know, right? Let us summarize this, right? Let us summarize this. Sir, we know resistance, right? Resistance is the property of substance. It's a property of material, which is rho L by A, right? Unit is, unit is ohm, OHM, right? That is the first formula. That is the first formula. Second formula, right? So charge is quantized. Actually, this is the first formula. Right? Which is basically equal to number of electrons into charge of electron. Hi, Anna. Tell me, yes or no? Charge, any charge is given by number of that number of one electron, a number of one proton into charge of one proton. 
right? So this might not be used, right? But we have studied this, है ना? This might not be used, but we have studied this. Then, right? V is equal to IR. V is equal to IR. Okay, right? Where V is potential difference. Potential difference, है ना? I is current, electric current. And tell me, R is resistance of the conductor. Resistance of conductor. यहाँ तक सबको समझ में आ रहा है? Tell me, यहाँ तक सबको समझ में आ रहा है? हाँ या ना? Right? Yes or no? Now, right? एक और formula हम लोगों ने पढ़ा, that is, V is equal to work done per unit charge. Right? This is additional formula. Additional formula. है ना? और क्या? पढ़ा और क्या पढ़ा राइट सर टेल मी देयर आर मेनी अदर फॉर्मूलास दैट यू हैव स्टडीड यस बट दैट इज नॉट यूज्ड दैट विल नॉट बी यूज्ड इन योर सिलेबस बट हम लोगों ने तो पढ़ा ना है कि नहीं वी स्टडीड राइट वी स्टडीड व्हाट वी स्टडीड द फार्मूला ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स आल्सो व्हिच इज के क्यू1 क्यू2 बाय आर स्क्वायर राइट वी स्टडीड फार्मूला ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड आल्सो व्हिच इज फोर्स पर यूनिट चार्ज है ना राइट क्लियर है ये सब हम लोगों ने पढ़ा तो दिस इज एडिशनल फॉर्मूला राइट दिस इज एडिशनल फॉर्मूला राइट जो हम लोग के सिलेबस में नहीं है बट वी स्टडीड एनी वन है डाउट दीज आर दिनल फॉर्मूला यहाँ तक इसमें दिक्कत है चल मी चल मी ना इफ आई आस्क यू राइट वॉट इज अट ऑफ यूनिट ऑफ चल मी वोल्टेज चल मी यूनिट ऑफ वोल्टेज आई होप एवरी वन अंडरस्टैंड दिस यूनिट ऑफ वोल्टेज वोल्टेज और बेसिकली पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस राइट एक्चुअली पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज कॉल्ड एज वोल्टेज जनरली जब बोलते हैं ना वोल्टेज राइट ओके दिस इज पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओनली राइट इज आई गेस ऑल इफ यू नो इट इज योर वोल्ट वोल्ट आई एम जस्ट समराइजिंग दिस आई एम जस्ट समराइजिंग एवरीथिंग है ना राइट नाउ टेल मी वेन नेवर यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट इट राइट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल ऑफ यू Have anyone have seen the meter, your meter, right? Or uh, there is something called uh, stabilizer, right? I don't think that these are things there in your home right now. But right, पहले था, है ना? If you go to your grandparents' dad, है ना? Sorry, grandparents' home, है ना? तो वहाँ पे था. Speedometer again, speedometer तो क्या? Sorry, I'm having a stabilizer. You have ना? So if you if you see a stabilizer, right, पुराना वाला, so there is something like this. How many of you have observed this? there's a this thing right 0 volt 60 volt 120 volt right 180 volt 220 volt it's like this there two hai na and there's a there's a needle how many of you seen this tell me how many of you have seen this 8 right? volt it is in volt anyone have seen this tell me hi ana in old yes in old stabilizers There was a meter like this to measure the voltage. This is your, this is your what? This is your volt meter. Volt meter, right? Yes, 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 Akshara. Yes, right. So from here, there is one more formula which is I is equal to Q by T. Actually, it is delta Q by T, but okay, I'll just write Q by T. Now, it is Q by T. Okay, right? Or it is delta Q by delta T. Okay, right? Chal, right? So this this you this instrument which cal yeah right? Yes yes potential difference is same as electric potential. Okay, potential difference voltage electric potential are almost same. Okay, so this is a voltmeter. Now if you if you have if you see this there's one more same similar kind of similar kind of meter. I'll just show you. Similar kind of meter, right? In Kahoot, we will see, है ना? Right? But instead of that, there will be some something like zero, right? Then zero point one ampere, right? Then one ampere, then two ampere, right? Then three ampere, है ना? Tell me, they will measure something like this. What is this called? If they are measuring current, right? They are measuring current, so it is called as ammeter. Yes, ammeter. Okay, so 
this will measure current, right? It will measure current. And this will be measured by, tell me, this will measure voltage, okay? Now, do you know that actually, actually, the both ammeter and voltmeter are made up of a same, same thing, right? They're made up of similar thing, okay? Same device. There's some adjustment done to that device to make it as voltmeter or to make it as ammeter. Now, don't you think, sir, whenever there will be some changes in current or some changes in voltage, right, this will, this will deflect yes or no. That is what we have studied now. Again, when changes, then this will deflect. Yes, agree? Yes or no? Right? No, not fuse, not fuse, not fuse. Right? Not fuse. Wait, let me check if I can get it. I will show you. Yeah, right? So that deflection, right? That deflection is done by something, Anna. That deflection is done, right? That deflection is done when current passes through that. Yes or no? Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Tell me. Agree? Right? Let me check. I'll just, I'm just finding this. Wait, wait, I'm just very bad, right? Sorry, guys, right? Especially these, right? Anyways, I'll, yeah, all of you have already seen, I guess, right? all of you have already seen, right? Anyways, I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll send you the video, okay? Right? I'll send the video in the group itself, okay? Okay? Right? So, anyone have any doubt in this? Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me, simple, right? Everyone, okay? Chike? Chalo. So, Ohm's law, much Maya. Everyone got this Ohm's law? Yes or no? Haan, chalo. Yes or no? So, shall we solve one more problem? So, let us see one more problem. Chike? Let us see one more problem. So, concept check. Okay. Find. The current in the circuit, current in a circuit, if the potential difference is, is 20 volt and the resistance is 5 ohm. Tell me, easy, super easy question. Tell me, super easy, super easy. That's a super easy question, very easy. Achche wala, haa na. Very good, Jilan, correct. Very good, Tanish. Unit, 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 Tanish. Right? So we will start with formula. Sir, we know V is equal to IR. Yana. So I is equal to V by R. Yes or no? Right? So what is V? So V is equal to 20 because it is in volt. By R is equal to what? So 5. So it is what? It is 4 ampere. Easy hai? Easy hai? Bohut easily. Bohut bachche itra padhenge. Koi jaldabazi nahi hai. Hai na? Right? Very good study na? Clear? This is clear? I hope Ohm's law is clear? Yes or no? Ohm's law is clear to everyone? Okay? Right? Yes? ठीक है, चलो, अब काहूट खेल खेलते हैं काहूट, everyone will play काहूट, ठीक है, right we will play काहूट, एक कॉन्सेप्ट टेस्ट के बाद, एक और कॉन्सेप्ट चेक कर लेते हैं उसके बाद काहूट करेंगे, ठीक है, एक और कॉन्सेप्ट चेक, let us see, let us see, right कॉन्सेप्ट चेक करो okay find the voltage in a circuit if if 10 microcoulomb of charge flow in it flow in it 
in 10 millisecond 10 millisecond right and the resistor the resistance of the wire is 10 ohm tell me this is this is a problem now first of all whenever you have a problem of physics or problem of anything write down the information first what is this charge what is this charge so charge is 10 microcoulomb yes or no i am up i am up charge is 10 microcoulomb then what is the time tell me what is time taken 10 millisecond 10 millisecond so write it like this 10 microcoulomb is basically 10 to the power 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb hi anna because micro means 10 to the minus 6 yes or no yes or no hi anna ye sabko aata hai ki nahi aata hai tell me everyone know this or not right step 1 sir micro means 10 to the minus 6 nahi aata to likh lo this is 10 milliseconds. So it is 10 into 10 power minus 3 second. Right, sir? Milli is equal to 10 power minus 3. Yes or no? Ye aata sabko? Information. I'm just writing the information. Hai na? Sabko aata hai? Yahya, you know this? Rakesh? Aksa? Anvit? Tell me. Avni? Shusti? Everyone know this? Write down the information. Then resistance is given. Resistance is 10 ohm. So this is the this is the value, right? These are the information that is given. So first write down, write down this. Okay. okay. Now, then what is the formula? We know what we have to find. We have to find voltage. V is equal to IR. Right? This we have to find. What is missing? Ask yourself, sir, what is missing? Resistance is given. What is missing? Tell me, what is missing? Current. Yes, very good. So what is the formula of current, guys? What's the formula of current? Q by T. Very good. And Q is 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 10 into 10 to the power minus 3. So 10, 10 kata. And I hope all of you know this. 10 to the power minus 6 plus 3 will become 10 to the power minus 3 ampere. Yes or no? Ayana. Very good, Jilan. So this everyone know that sir, I will become I will become 10 to the power minus 3 ampere. Yes or no? Right? Minus 3, no? Minus 3 steady, no? Not minus 3, right? Minus 3. Got it steady, no? Okay, voltage. Yes, yes, correct. Very good. So voltage is equal to what? I, which is 10 to the minus 3 into R, which is equal to 10. So that is correct. So it is 10 to the minus 2 volt. Or it is 0 0.01 volt. Anyone have any doubt on this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt on this? Step by step. Tell me. Anyone have any doubt on this? Raise your hand. Tell me. Anyone have any doubt on this? Raise your hand. No doubt, clear hai. Okay. So shall we solve one more problem? I'll just, I'll just, I'll just put it right. Prahlad, I'll just put whatever you're asking me. I'll just put, I'm just putting it over here. Okay. So I'll put it. Okay. So this is what you're asking, na? Tell me, this is what you're asking, right? Units, smaller units. Take care. So these are the multipliers. These are the multipliers. Okay. Got it. 
है ना दीज आर दी मल्टीप्लायर दिस इज फॉर वोल्टेज राइट तो मिली मीन्स टेन पावर माइनस थ्री माइक्रो टेन पावर माइनस सिक्स किलो मीन्स टेन पावर थ्री मेगा मीन्स टेन पावर सिक्स राइट दीज आर दी मल्टीप्लायर दीज आर दी मल्टीप्लायर जैसे मिली सेंटी वैसे ही ये सब भी होता है ओके सेम दे आर ऑल मल्टीप्लायर्स Every one of them is a multiplier. Yes or no? I am not. Anyone have any doubt in this? Up so much, my dear. Is up to? Kisi or out? Hey, ask. Kisi or out? Hey, ask. Here, until now, is there any difficulty? No. No doubt till this point. Tell me. No doubt this, till this point. So can I summarize this? Can I summarize this? Tell me. So I'll just summarize this. Okay. I'll just summarize this. So I'll summarize the Ohm's law as. Tell me. I'll summarize Ohm's law. Hey na. So I can say when the physical conditions, right? When the physical conditions such as temperature, length, cross section area remain the same, the current, the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to V or The voltage is directly proportional to current. Hi, Anna. Right. So if we remove a proportionality constant, we will get V is equal to I R. Yes, yes, yes. Same as meter because these are multiplier. Right? They are multiplier. Okay. They are just the multipliers. Na. Hi, Anna. Right. They are just the multipliers. Okay. Right. Yes or no? Okay, then after that, what we studied? After that, we studied. After that, we studied that the reciprocal, you know, the reciprocal of. Tell me. Tell me. So the slope, right? The slope of this curve, right? The slope of this curve. Wait, wait. Show. I don't know. I just didn't have much time. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Okay. Just taking time. I really hate this. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. So yeah, I I said, sir, whenever you have curve, right? So this is my V I curve. This is my V I curve. But if instead of V I curve, if I'm having having I Y I V curve, right? I V curve, then it is one by tan, है ना? It is the reciprocal, right? ठीक है? Clear है? समझ में आ रहा है? Right? Anyone have any doubt in this? What about this graph? Tell me. What about this graph? Whenever you have this graph, it is your non-ohmic conductor. Non-ohmic. What is the meaning of non-ohmic? Tell me. Non-ohmic means what? What does it mean? Yeah, cot theta. You can just say cot theta, but again, it's fine, na? It is just the resistance will go up. Resistance will go up. The con the conductors which don't yes. uh, actually where Ohm's law does not apply are known as non-ohmic conductors. Yes, basically they do not follow Ohm's law. They do not follow Ohm's law. As simple as that, है ना? Right. So if I'm having a curve, right, I V curve or V I curve, which is not a straight line, so they do not follow. They do not follow Ohm's law. Not less resistance. ठीक है? So I can say, right, the substance which do not follow Ohm's law do not obey Ohm's law or called as non-ohmic conductor. ठीक है? Clear है? तो कभी वो मान लो पूछ दिया. So I hope all of you know this. Clear here? Anyone have any doubt in this? This is clear. Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in Ohm's law? Anyone have any doubt in Ohm's law? Tell me. No. I guess no, right? You know. Take it. Shallow. Very good, everyone. Right. So we are done with this. We are done with this. Let us check Kahoot. 
if it's working or not. Check my Kahoot now. If it is working or not. It becomes sometimes it becomes so annoying. I don't know how to what to do. Yes, it is Om, right? Om, correct. Vasta potentiometer uh, is another instrument. Okay, potentiometer is another instrument. Hai. Janvi, message for chat box. Chat box for message. Ko. Potentiometer. Sir, Prahlad and I have same point, sir. What? Sir, Prahlad and I have same point, sir. He is in second place. I'm in mean first. Okay, answer this. According to Ohm's law, for a given metallic wire, the potential difference is directly proportional to easy. Easy. No, it is current. No, potential difference here. It is electric current, right? Well, I mean, example the other that is a gravitational potential. Okay, now we that was a gravitational potential. Yeah, I'm talking about electric potential. Okay, got it, right? The obstruction offered by material of a conductor to the passage of electric current is known as. Yes, correct. Resistance. That's a definition. Guys, this definition of resistance. Okay. Yes, V by I is equal to R. What is this? But resistance is a constant, right? Next. Okay, very good. Yes, correct. True. It depends on nature of material. Now, formula is R is equal to rho L by A. So, rho is the resistivity. Rho is resistivity which depends on the material. Yes or no? Yes or no? Clear here? Everyone? Ahad? Raid? Everyone? Is it clear? Next. Flow of charging conductor is called. 
flow of charge in conductor is called easy very easy very easy <laughs> guys it is it is current right it is current thank god no one marked osmosis <laughs> okay right current the answer is current chalo next a continuous and closed path of an electric current is called an tell me an electric circuit the closed and continuous path of electric current is called an electrical circuit these all are definition guys these all are definitions samajh mein aaya Yes, correct. It is correct. It is true. It is true, guys. Next, the SI unit of electric charges is the SI unit of electric charge is liquidoscope. स्पेलिंग कितने लोगों ने मिस्टेक किया है स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक राइट ये भी गलत ही स्पेलिंग है ठीक है नहीं ये सही स्पेलिंग है ठीक है सो स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक एंड बहुत लोग गलत हुआ ओके स्ट्रेना टॉप पोजीशन पे वेरी गुड स्ट्रेना इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल पढ़ा था नाम ने इट इज वर्क डन फ्रॉम ब्रिंगिंग राइट closed at the beginning means even though see again circuit to bolte hai na even though if it is closed open circuit to socket bolte hai na yes correct ammeter very good easy bahut log sahi kiye very good next tell me dash is constituted by flow of 1 coulomb of charge per second i guess i guess most of you will answer wrong yes yes exactly the answer is ampere 1 ampere theek hai the answer is 1 ampere right the answer is 1 ampere samajh mein aaya the answer is 1 ampere because q by t is equal to i so if charge of 1 coulomb is flowing from for 1 second it is your 1 ampere clear hai right right it is 1 ampere now it is 1 ampere theek hai next a dash makes a conducting link between cell and bulb a dash makes a conducting link between a cell and the bulb guys everyone needs to write all these answers in your textbook theek hai in your notebook sorry
करेक्ट राइट इट इज स्विच एमीटर बैटरी कहां से हो गया बैटरी अगेन बैटरी इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेल्स राइट बैटरी इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेल नेक्स्ट इफ अ नेट चार्ज क्यू फ्लोज across any cross section of conductor in time t then the current through the cross section is formula this is formula just to write the formula everyone you just have to write the formula Yes, very good. I is equal to Q divided by T is also correct. Those who have written I is equal to Q divided by T, that is also correct, right? Q divided by T. Sir, I wrote Q divided by T. Yes, yes, it is also correct. No issues, right? Don't worry, it is also correct. Sir, sir, I wrote Q by T equals I. हाँ ठीक है सब सही है सब सही कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ठीक है That's just a like answer जो feed हुआ था उसके हिसाब से लिया है ठीक है it's fine in an electric circuit the direction of electric current is taken as opposite to the direction of flow of current flow of electron true or false Yes, true, na. No? It is true, right? It is true. Hi, na. No? It is true. ठीक है? It is true. Correct. Next. easy yes yes navya they are reaching me don't worry that's correct very good that's false very good samarth bahut yahan pe bahut normal situation hai nitin yahan bahut normal situation hai abhi hum logo ne series parallel combination nahi padha na nitin right so obviously wo sochenge hi nahi theek hai now ammeter is always connected in series in a circuit ammeter is always connected in series in a circuit we will study this in detail right series pal circuit but think about it yes it is true correct it is true next when a cell is connected to a conducting sub circuit element the dash sets the charge in motion in the conductor tell me this we have studied right i hope i hope all of you remember Yes, it is potential difference, guys. It is potential difference. Battery क्या set करता है? Battery क्या set करता है? Potential difference ना? Right, very good. Now we are circuit नहीं ना circuit. Again, the dash sets the charge. Which sets the charge? Tell me. अगर circuit रहेगा potential difference नहीं रहेगा तो थोड़ी ना flow होगा, right? Okay, circuit enables the charge to move. ठीक है? हाँ या ना? right but potential difference potential difference the reason why the charge will move next in a battery the chemical action 
within a cell generates the potential difference across the terminal of the cell true or false true or false okay very good navya samarth okay it is true correct next yes i just told the answer <laughs> okay next potential difference between two points is equal to potential difference between two point is equal to ohm's law now this is again random right it can be it can have two answers it can have two answers but again i'm just talking about ohm's law right i'll consider ohm's law as the correct answer i told the answer <laughs> i just said the answer let us see now again i into t is wrong right w by q or again right ir that is also correct right again i told you there will be there can be two answers okay so i into r v is equal to ir is also correct theek hai so ye tha sa random i already told you that this is random and it should be mentioned right the potential difference is measured by a mean of instrument called the Now this everyone know right this everyone know yes now that correct i've told earlier now that there might be two answers <laughs> vastav it is easy right yes mansa correct ऑटो करेक्ट क्यों रखते हो एमीटर वोल्ट मीटर से करेक्ट आंसर राइट एमीटर किसका आंसर था एक कृष्णा का आंसर था बेचारा कृष्णा ऑटो करेक्ट चेंज कर दिया वोल्ट मीटर को एमीटर राइट कृष्णा नॉट ट्रू और फॉल्स द एमीटर कैन आल्सो मेजर पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके नाउ वी आर ये भी पूछने वाली बात है ये शश ये भी पूछोगे अवकम कृष्णा फॉल्स राइट ऑब्वियसली फॉल्स है ना छह लोग ट्रू बोले हैं भाई कैसे कैसे हाउ हाउ कैन यू से दैट इज ट्रू एमीटर इज फॉर करेंट राइट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट है ना हम लोगों ने जितना पढ़ा the whole concept is asked in this yes or no basic basic one marks two marks the si unit of resistivity is resistivity dhyan do resistivity is not resistance it is resistivity right think about it yes ohm meter correct green option yes ab dekho isme bahut log galat hue the Resistance is equal to rho L by a I N A I N A. So rho is equal to resistance into area by length, and we know resistance per unit is ohm. Area by length is basically meter. Yes or no? Because meter square by meter is meter. Clear? Hey, everyone, got this right? Yes. Okay, Navya. Right. Let's see. No changes. No changes in the order. Tough competition. Twenty second question. On reducing the thickness of metallic wire, its electrical resistance will. Tell me. Thick. 
thickness thickness of the wire thickness means area what will happen the answer is increase yes or no right yes or no r is equal to rho l by a hai na so thickness if it is reducing resistance will increase na inversely proportional yes or no yes or no na ve pehle to sahi bola tha fir galat kyu bol diya right okay got it everyone got this ha ya na इतना सोचा था ना इतना हम लोगों ने डिस्कशन किया था दैट इफ एरिया इज मोर रेसिस्टेंस इज लेस इफ एरिया इज लेस रेसिस्टेंस इज मोर यस और नो सो थिकनेस इज रिड्यूसिंग एरिया कम हो रहा है राइट थिंक अबाउट इट राइट एग्जांपल याद रखो ना है ना राइट चौरा रोड पतला रोड इतना डिस्कशन किया था हमने टू चेंजेस इन द स्कोर बोर्ड second last question keeping the potential constant the resistance of circuit is halved the current will become tell me think about it it is a easy problem it is an easy problem guys it is double na right we know sir v is equal to ir v is equal to ir i is equal to v by r right so if i is equal to v by r what is i dash which is v by the resistance is half which is r by 2 so 2 will go upside na so i dash will become 2 into v by r which is equal to 2i so kitna ho gaya twice ho gaya double ho gaya na yes or no clear everyone everyone is clear yes navya correct everyone okay next this is the last problem this is the last problem the resistance whose vi graph is given below is resistance tell me Yes, three by five. क्या से ध्यान दो. Think about it. First of all, it is voltage. It is current. So if you draw a line, right? When current is fifteen, right? Okay. Or it's it's just like this. The diagram is random. The diagram is this. But take this, ना? Take this, right? है ना? When the current is five, voltage is three. है ना? So V is equal to I R. R is equal to V by I. So V is three when current is five. ठीक है, clear है सबको? Everyone is clear in this, right? Simple. Slope is your resistance. Slope is your resistance. ठीक है? Okay. Let's see the podium, guys. Third place, Prahlad. Twenty out of twenty-four. Very good, Prahlad. Study na twenty-one out of twenty-four. Very good. And yes, us twenty one out of twenty four. Very good, guys. I hope that up till jitna humne padha, wo concept revise ho gaya hoga. Yes or no? Tell me. Whatever we have revised till now, all the concepts have stood this, uh, right? Okay. Right. So what I'll do? I'll just send this. Right. These questions, many students made mistake. Okay. So I'll just send the report. ओके 
so that's it for today's class i hope all of you understood this hai na ye itna concept ho gaya now in next class we will talk about right okay next class we will talk about what tell me series and resistance very important very important topic so dhyan do next class mein everyone everyone should pay utmost attention theek hai kafi attention dena hai next class mein because that is the most important point of this chapter series parallel connections okay so series parallel connection we will be continuing in next class if possible do the pre reading right i'll send the group janvi i'll send the group okay please pre read pre period right pre read this topic series parallel from your app okay right yes pralad voltmeter is parallel to the resistance we will study that hai na theek hai so ek baar pre reading kar lena sabko theek hai chalo okay bye everyone take care bye bye right bye everyone bye bye